What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6pm, it is Sunday and it is 3-3 currently in the FA Cup quarterfinal between Manchester United and Liverpool. And the question of the day, and don't cheat, is going to be, who do you think is going to win? If you, in, if, if you see this video before uh, there is a winner or a loser. Now yesterday guys, the, um, the live, oh we've actually got St. Pat's Day. Oh my days, they've given players. The live foot birthday daily thing didn't refresh. And I don't think it has again. Oh yeah, the daily play is there this time. It didn't refresh. Oh, that's just because I haven't played it. I wonder if it, it might not have refreshed again. No, because look, it doesn't say it's repeatable. That's the problem. It's still broken. Um, however, we got St. Patrick's Day. Assist a goal with a defender in three separate games for Collins. Well, let me see his uh, card. But 89 defending and physical, 84 pace. That's pretty cool. Irish Wall can see one or less in three games with Nathan Collins in your starting 11 for an 84 by 2. You get 88 O'Sullivan for assist two goals whilst having six NWSL players in your starting 11. He's a centre mid with 89 pace, 88 dribbling, 87 passing. Oh, Hullet gang. That's a pretty sick card, to be fair. Uh, and then assist masterclass whilst having her in your starting 11. Full house for Cullen from Burnley. Another good card there, um, but play styles and whatnot are going to be really, uh, really impactful here. And then Ogbene from uh, Luton. Oh, my days. That's a good card, isn't it? And then Pot of Gold for an 83 by 10 and the whole group for an 84 by 10. I like that. And do you know what, EA? Give us more of this. Genuinely, give us more of this. People would love this sort of stuff on like a three to four day like rotating window with just different themes of players. Like it would be honestly so good. It would be so good. Uh, so I'm being told by stream that the daily play is not back again. So it is still bugged and broken, which is a pain in the butt, yeah, because how are we supposed to do the things if the things aren't there? If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. And with that, guys, let's check out our evolutions for today. Jack of all trades, Legends of the Pitch. Secret stuff is a brand new Evo. 200,000 coins, pace max 91, shooting max 89, dribbling max 88, physical max 75, number of playstyle pluses is max 1, number of playstyles is max 6, skill moves is maximum 4 star. It gives player playstyle 1, one star skill moves, passing and dribbling at 1. Another star skill move, shooting, passing, defending, plus 2 and trickster. Two more pace and passing, one dribbling, technical plus, and two extra stars. Why would it have maximum four-star skill moves if everyone that you can get here becomes five-star skill moves anyway? Why not just give, like, why not just have maximum five-star skill moves? That's very strange. 200,000 coins. Oh. Oh, so what, what are you saying, EA? A five-star, four-star, Robert Perez. Oof. It's 200,000 coins, but there could be some, uh, there could be some really nice options in here, couldn't there? I don't have many players in this account, so we'll have to have a look on foot.gg to have a proper look as to who we can put in there. But if there's even some chainable cards in there, it's going to be delightful. Um, in terms of players, I can't remember who it was that was leaked today. Was it an icon for today? What have we got? Herrera, Singo, Almiron, Bentancur, Yoshida, De Jong, Lewandowski, Hoyland, Verts, and Ginola. Upgrades, we've got the 88 plus, one of three, Thunderstruck Winter Wildcard or Team of the Year Icon player pick. The daily login is back, of course. The 82 by 20 is back, of course. Every day for that. Nothing else new there. Nothing new in the challenges. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that a Ultimate Birthday Flash Challenge? It's the same. It's just repeatable every two hours for, for, for infinity and beyond. And the icon today, Cloud Makalele. How good is he? Four star, five star. Four three United. Oh my days. Four star, five star. Low high work rates. Can play CDM right mid and centre mid. Got good pace. Got great dribbling apart from dribbling. He 
He's got great defending, great physicals, good passing, relentless press proven, brilliant defensive play styles, and quick step plus. The only single thing I don't like about this card is that it does not have any passing play styles. Now, he's got decent passing anyway, so it's not the end of the world, but this is, that, this is a good card. Nine segments, a bronze and a silver, an 80 rated for the loan, an 85 with an inform, an 86, an 87, two 88s and an 89. Do you know what? That's not bad. That's not bad. Who scored the uh, goal? Ahmad Diallo. Wow. Wow. Um, that is, I think that Makaleli is decent, to be fair. I think he's probably well worth doing. Um, what we want to look at, though, as well is this icon player pick. An 80. Whoa, that's Spenny, isn't it? Wait, he got sent off? Wait, why did he get sent off? Did he get sent off for over celebrating? 16 new players today? What? For his shirt off. I bet he doesn't care. Got sent off for taking his shirt off on a yellow. I mean, fair enough, man. 16 new players, guys. All right, I need to do... Man, this, this is expensive. I can't lie. I can't lie. This is a bit... A bit more expensive than I thought it was going to be. I can't remember what it was previously. As long as it's full time for Man United, they probably don't care that you got sent off. Going to miss the semi finals. Is it the semi finals he misses, or is it just the next domestic game? I think is isn't the don't suspensions carry over between competitions as long as it's like domestic? Yeah, eighty eight plus is not bad. I, I do agree, but I also think that it's a bit more than I thought it was going to be. It's the next Prem game. Yeah. That, that's what, that's what I, I, I thought. I, I, know, I might be wrong. Like, the information might be wrong. But that's what I thought. Um, but, hey. Bear, oh, we need an inform. Bears to uh, United, man. No, I, I would not have given them the chance of winning this. However, I, I am certain that you'll hear Man United fans claim. And I would if, I, if it was Arsenal. Obviously, we're already out of it. I'm certain you'll hear, sorry, Liverpool fans claim but they're happy that they're out of the FA Cup so that they can focus on the league. That's at least the line I'd be going with as an Arsenal fan. More expensive because they cut out base icons. Oh, okay, yeah. Do you know what? Fair enough. If base icons have gone and... Um, and uh, it's an 88 minimum, Houston's... That's actually not bad, is it? Why not got Poppy Milinkovic Savic in there as well? If Team of the Year is a common, it's good value. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. We've also seen, it seems like we've got a mini release today as well, guys, which is wild. I did not expect a mini release. Pop that in there. We'll get that one. I won't open these packs. I just want to get to the pick. It's game over, is it? Wow, fair play, Man United. Fair play. I did not expect them to win. Yeah, so, yeah if it's a lot of players, it's a maxi release and a half, man. That's crazy. 16 extra players in the game today. EA, like, I asked, I asked this question, right? Why don't EA do this sort of stuff with all promos? Why? It confuses me. Three new icons. Bosh. All right. Let me get my icon player pick. And then we'll go into uh, foot.gg and have a look at all of the new content. Here we go. Well, I'm going to take Casillas, I think. I don't know if he's still worth a lot. He is. He's still half a million coins. I could, just couldn't care less about that Kaka. That Kaka, for me, is Kaka, you know what I mean? Kaka one mil, yeah, but it's untradeable. Is it like what? I can't sell it, can I? I need somebody that's actually going to be functionally usable for me, not somebody that's worth more than the other player. Um, however, I want to start with today evolutions, secret stuff one or two. 
what's it called? It's half time. You're down by 48 points. <laughs> it's time to get serious. What? <laughs> Take your skill moves to the max with a four star boost along with three new play styles, including technical plus. What does that even mean? Um, eligible players. Ooh, Winter Wildcard Burkamp. Um, well, there you go. There's the two players I'm going to be doing. Winter Wildcard Burkamp. Although, what's the point now? Because he's got... Oh, I don't know, man. That's a sick card, isn't it? Five star, four star with all of those crazy stats. Pop a shadow on him. Oh, bad defensive awareness and interceptions. Insane. Pop an engine on him. Insane dribbling. Great pace. Great passing. Low physicals. Doesn't have relentless either. I'm still probably going to have to do that Burkamp though. And oh, yeah. And then Robert Pires. So for the Arsenal Evo RTG, we've got some good options here. Who else have we got that's actually good? Larson's decent. Oh my days, it's a Bamiyang fit. Oh my God, this Joao Cancelo fits in? Fair play. There's some nice cards in here. What is the overall rating boost? It's only a plus two, but it gives two pace, four passing, one shoot. I, wait, hold on. Compared to the... Hold on, hold on. Compared to this Freevo here, this gives an overall plus five, but gives three pace. This gives two pace. Two passing, this gives four passing. Two physical. This gives... Too physical on this one. Versus no physical on this one. Four dribbling and two shooting versus one shooting and two dribbling. This is it like this should just be like a smaller boost, shouldn't it? It should only be like a plus two or plus three. The fact that this is only a plus two, but is a very, very, very good card. Or good Evo, sorry. Five star skill moves. And the the only problem with it is is it does eradicate five star skill move players that already exist. That's a bit of a bit of a pain in the butt. However, check store pack. I'll I'll go for the uh store pack after after we look at these these cards here. However, there's some really good players here. Even this Ericsson, he becomes five star, five star. With really good play styles, really good passing, good dribbling and pace. Not not ideal, but it's not terrible. Oh man. Oh, inform book book or Saka fits in it. I wouldn't. I'm gonna use him on I'm gonna use the two uh, Arsenal Arsenal icons, Piers and Burkamp. Guys, this one's two what do you guys think? I, I think two hundred thousand coins is quite a lot. Right? ADB. Oh, does his flashback fit into it? Hey, I I I used this in an SBC months ago. Oh my god. I mean, there's obviously better KDB cards out there, but this is still very good. With an engine, he's got max passing, good pace, good dribbling, five star, four star, great play styles. That's nice. Player of the month, Madison fits. Larm, does Larm fit? Oh, he does. Yeah, I prefer the other Larm for the uh, long ball pass plus on him. This is still a very good card for it. Damn, guys, this, this is... It's, ex it's, it's an expensive Evo, but I honestly think it's good. Like, there's a lot of really, really good cards that you can put in here. And we're not even looking at the cards that you've got in your club that, um, that you've got as Evos that you could put into it. This is just... Matt, is that, is that an Evo for Madison that you've got there? Yeah, so you could put Madison in to pick it up. I don't know if pick it up still exists. And then into secret stuff one or two. And he goes five star, four star with mad disson stats. Pop a hunter on him. Oh my god, that's a that's a mad card. To be fair, wait, you can put Patry in there. Is pick it up? Does pick it up still exist? Is it still active? 
That's wild, isn't it? Bit, bit low on physicals. No? Well, goddamn. Right, SBCs. Cloud Makaleli, babies. Let's go. I like it. I like it a lot. It's just shy of a million coins. But I like it a lot. I think with the Shadow Chem style, he's got amazing defending, amazing physical, amazing pace, very good dribbling, very good passing, and generally very good playstyles. The only thing I don't like about Makaleli, there's two things I don't like about him. First of all, is the low dribbling stat, but that is not the end of the world. And second of all, is no, actually there's three things, is no passing playstyles. And third of all, is just his general height. I, like, he's just a bit too small for me at 5'9", but it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Now, we've got new players. Oh, we've got new players. So, oh my god, Rafael Varane. Ulysic. Collins, Cullen, Ro That Sorloth's going to be a problem. Two versions of Pulisic. Frankowski, Butragueno. His way back's going to have a heart attack there. Rafael Varane is four star, five, sorry, five star, four star. With anticipate and slide tackle plus. Bruiser, intercept, jockey, aerial, power header. Oh my good lord. That is going to be one of the best centre backs in the game, no doubt about it. That is wild. We've got the Nathan Collins from the uh, the objective. He's got aerial, anticipate, intercept plus, technical plus, ping pass on block. That's a really good card for a centre back. He's got good dribbling, low vision, otherwise really good passing. With the shadow chem style, he's mostly lengthy with great pace, great defending, and very good physical. That's honestly a wild card. Two-star, five-star weak foot as well. That is a really, really good card. We've got two versions of Pulisic. I'm guessing that it's five-star, four-star, and four-star, five-star. Yeah, it is. Um, he's got first touch plus, quick step plus, ping pass, rapid flare, and trickster. Decent stam, decent passing, great pace, good dribbling. I actually think he might be quite cheap, to be fair. Oh, he's already 85k. Yeah. Um, this just looks like a card that screams there's 700 of me already on the on the game. I'd go the maestro on him and play him at centre attacking midfielder, which he actually has as a position, which is nice. But I think he's going to be quite common. We've got this Cullen card. Block plus, relentless plus, ping pass, long ball, intercept, slide tackle, first touch, water card. Three star, five star. Three star is a bit of a problem, but otherwise decent. With a shadow. Good pace, great defending, good physical. Reasonable passing, reasonable dribbling. I prefer the centre back. I think this this is a fodder card. If I'm being perfectly honest, um, we've got Rord with long ball pass plus and power shot plus, incisive pass, ping pass, tiki taka, intercept, technical first touch and press proven. What a card! Now as a cam, she's got banging defensive awareness and interceptions. Engine chem style for me. Very good dribbling, good pace, good shooting, good passing. Four star, five star. It's a good card. A good card. And now we've got Sorloth. Now I think this card is going to be a problem. Four star, five star. Chip shot plus, which apparently is very good. You've just got to learn how to use it. Aerial plus, which is broken. Finesse shot, power shot, power header. Rapid flare, relentless, and Traveller. Oh my god. He's got insane physicals, 87 vision, 90 short pass, 90 curve. This card is crazy. This card is crazy. It's 30k? There's no way. What do people want? It's 30k? I might even go an engine on him, you know. His finishing and shot power is so good already. An engine gives a big boost in dribbling, keeps him lengthy, gives him the pace boost, gives him a little agility and balance boost. He's not meta, unfortunately. Oh, I absolutely disagree. This is 100% meta. This is like a cheap team of the year Haaland, man. Erling Haaland. Come on. There we go. Erling Haaland, 97. Also 4-star, 5-star. 
Also, aerial plus, but power shot. Four more pace, loads more shooting, less passing, a little bit more dribbling, a little bit more physical. This, honestly, this is poor man's, this is poor man's Erling Haaland team of the year. I like this card a lot. And he's got way better play styles overall. Love that. Love that. Ogbené. Nah, oh. Five star, four star, high low work rates. Aerial plus, quick step plus, technical, rapid and flair. How tall is he? 5'11, high low work rates. This card, this is a good card. Guys, this is a good card. With a hawk, great pace, good shooting, great physical, good defending, which is weird. Decent passing, good dribbling. That is a good card. Two, two of the three cards we've seen so far from that objective, I think, have been very, very good. Are these things in game now? They are indeed. Makalele, we already looked at. And then O'Sullivan, five star skill moves, three star weak foot, incisive pass plus, trickster plus, anticipate, quick step, long ball, and block. Already very good passing, good pace. Uh, okay. Uh, th this isn't a bad card. But it's a bit of a weird card. I'll probably put a shadow on her and play as a box to box. There's only 5-4 as well. I, I think Ogbené and the centre-back are good. I think the two midfielders are not very good. We've got Palhinia. Bruiser plus, press proven plus. Long ball jockey, intercept, slide tackle. Five star, four star. Controlled lengthy with a shadow. Reasonable passing. Great physicals, great defending. Poor dribbling, good pace, poor shooting. He'll be cheap. He'll be very cheap. Um, we've got Frankowski, who we've got two versions of. So a 3-5 and a 5-3. Whip pass plus, jockey plus, long ball block, intercept, slide tackle, rapid and quick step. This is an alright card. Again, like, has he got mid? No. It's an alright card. I think an anchor chem style for him. I think there's just so many defenders in the game like this already. That I'm not blown away by him. He's definitely suited to be like one of the easy, easy to pack ones. We've got Brutra Gueno, five star, five star, high low work rates. Technical and quick step plus. Finesse, chip, flair, first touch, trickster, traveller. Dribbling so good. I'm probably putting a hawk on him. I'm definitely putting a hawk on him. Great pace, great shooting, great dribbling, good physical, reasonable passing. Great card, five star, five star there. That's a banger. That's a banger. We've got Bastian Schweinsteiger, a 5-4 and a 4-5. Long ball pass plus and ping pass plus. Power shot whip pass. Intercept technical press proven relentless. Banging. Shadow chem style on him. Good pace. Good defending. Good physical. Great passing. Great shooting from range. Good shooting otherwise. Good dribbling. What a card that is. Frankowski's 20k. Yeah, that, that was to be expected. High high work rates as well. Yeah. Oh, that's not top chemistry links rather than looks like. Guys, I can't even, I can't even lie. I think the evolution is very good. I think it's very good. What I am going to do as well is we're going to go and have a look at that store pack. Um, yeah, the, I, I think the evolution is real good. I think the objective cards generally are real good. I think the icon pick is actually good. Somebody said it's a 5,000 FIFA point pack. Oh, my days. 20 rare gold player items, 85 or higher. Three guaranteed to be 89 or higher. One guaranteed ultimate birthday icon. Oh. We've got pop gold cards. Oh, oh my. Azure and Lavelle. And we're guaranteed an icon in here as well. Oh my, oh my days, what is that? We've got that sword of, I can't believe how cheap he is. There's no way he's, oh my gosh, he is. He's like 50k already. Yep, he is. Oh, I can't believe it. All that fodder. Van der Sar was my icon. I had a feeling it was going to be him. You got three icons. Oh, wow. That's one. 
How are people supposed to compete? How are people supposed to compete? Now, to end with today, the 675k pack was there yesterday. To end with today, I just want to have a look at my Arsenal Evo RTG to see if there are any Evos on there that are fun. 5k thief points is a lot. But that must be... And listen, I realise that what I'm about to say here is me saying this based on the fact that it is a 5k thief point pack. But that must be one of the best value packs that EA have actually ever released. And for coin value, even, even for coin value, even for coin value, that might be good. You're guaranteed an icon. Vandasar, Shrine Stiger, and Crespo, you've got. All right, let me go into my Evos. Just to end off with today. Let me see if I've got or what I've got on secret stuff. So I, I know I could do Burkamp and Pires. I've got Russo. It's the 1,000 games. One of my favorite cards since I started this account. And I can get him to five star, five star. Just not good enough, is he? Just not good enough. Just not good enough. Guys, that is going to be the end of the video for today. I'm going to do both the icons. I just know I am. It just makes the most sense. Thank you as always for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.